Welcome to Sticks and Stones. Happy Monday, everybody, if you are catching us live. So today, I am very excited. I have my good friend, Ruth Furman, on the show with me. Welcome, Ruth. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. You are welcome. So just to give you guys a recap about what Sticks and Stones is all about is... We've all heard that saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I think that's BS. I think words are very important in our lives and make a huge impact, whether it's what somebody else is saying to us or things that we tell ourselves. And I just realized actually, speaking of words, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> a name is a very important word. <laughs> we got Ruth. <laughs> Uh, so my name is Michelle Hausbeck. I got married a couple weeks ago, so I have a new last name. I'm still getting used to that. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's actually my word of the day circles a lot around that. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to mention real quick, Ruth uh, owns a PR agency called Image Words, and I thought that was so appropriate because of the name of the show, Sticks and Stones, that's all about words. What made you pick that name for your business? I'm just curious. This was years ago. I started my firm in 2001. And, uh, Congrats. Thank you. And my friend Jan, who owns a marketing firm, helped me a little bit in brainstorming. And it was originally going to be Image Works okay. because I was like, works, works. But then I'm like, words, because your words are your image let us promote the right one. So your words are really your image. Oh. So that's why it's image words. I love that. Thank you. So you also have a pretty strong feeling about the idea of words and how powerful they can be. Very much so. That's why why I love your show. Um, because oh, words can, uh, the, the words that we say to ourselves and the words that others say to us right. can really impact us. Right and can impact how we are perceived. I love it. I love the meaning behind the name of your company. And it's so fitting for what you do, PR. <laughs> All right, so I am going to share with you guys my word. And then in the second segment, we are gonna hear all about Ruth's word. So for my word this month, I had to bring this beautiful headgear. And it's so appropriate, too, because of the season coming up. I am a huge football fan. I don't know if you knew that, but most of you guys out there probably know that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I mentioned that I just I got married right a couple weeks ago, and my word was used quite often, probably about 10 to 15 times a day, if not more, over the course of the last few months. So... From the words of number 12, the best quarterback of all time, a cheesehead himself, Aaron Rodgers. He said it four years ago when he got hurt and everybody was freaking out. Relax. R-E-L-A-X. <laughs> Do you remember that word? I do, and that is a very powerful word. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you sports fans out there, oh, I see a few comments, remember that. It's been made into a meme a million times. But here's how I use that. It's not just necessarily the word relax that goes through my head um, when I'm stressed out or I have anxiety or there's just so much to do, right? And that can happen in lots of moments. You and I were just talking about that, right? How you get just anxiety and flustered and might even forget like what you're supposed to do or stop enjoying the moment. Or where my parking spot was. Or where your layer. parking spot was. <laughs> yeah, right. So I, yeah, I turned my phone on silent and I just focused. Good, good. So I use the word relax in the sense of how how he said it and how it's written. So even if you Google this, Aaron Rodgers relax. So it's R dash E dash L dash A dash X. So it's it's prompting you to create a pause. 
So during the time of planning the wedding and working and even like on the day of the wedding, I repeated the word relax to myself, but what I did was I took a breath in between each pause because it forced me just to stop kind of freaking out about whatever it was I was anxious about and take some breaths and realize that, you know, just calm down, relax, it's all going to be okay. So you guys do it with me if you're watching. See if, see if this helps. So we're going to go R. Uh, e, breathe in and out, L, A, X. And I took my time doing it. Did I spell that right? You did. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you know, and I've heard this before when you're going through a time that really you should be enjoying something when you should be in the moment and you forget to be in the moment because you're so stressed about the situation or what's coming up next that you forget to enjoy what's happening right then and there. Have you ever experienced that? Oh, very much so. My earring just fell off and I was kind of stressing out about it. <laughs> I'm like, do I get up and pick it up? Or do I just take off the other one? There yeah, you go. Relax. And you just relax. <laughs> but I think the word relax is much better than the term calm down. Right. So people tell me to calm down, and what, why? I'm I don't curious. know. It just feels like kind of accusatory. It and does. Judgmental. Yeah. Whereas relax is just such a, it's so much kinder. It is. And it, it has more of a calming effect. But I've heard tips and tricks throughout the years of different um, things that you can do. So if you're in a moment of anxiety or stress, I've heard the count to 10. So a similar way, but you take a breath and count to 10 and make it last as long as you can. So deep breaths while you get there. I've heard of counting from one to 10, but backwards because it, it makes you think more. What, you know, we can all count one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's pretty innate, but when you have to think about it backwards, it's creating, it's causing your brain to stop and really think about which number, right, goes in sequence. I've also, and I've tried this one, this one's really cool. So it's one through 10, but you do the numbers out of order. Ooh. So, but you get all the numbers in there. So two, eight, five, one. <laughs> so you put your focus on getting all one through 10 in there. And it, it, when you're done, it completely changes your mindset and how you feel. Cause you took a break from whatever is rattling around crazy in your head. So with the word relax, I actually would spell that backwards. Same thing, take some deep breath, breaths and then mix up the letters. So thank you, Aaron Rodgers, is all I got to say for giving me this uh, amazing, amazing word. Relax. I hope that helps you guys. And if you don't like the Packers, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you, can still, you can still use the word. Are you a sports fan? Oh, I was born in Wisconsin. Oh, are you a Packers fan? I am. Well, I didn't even know that. Look at that. Go Pack Go. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? All right. We are coming up on the end of this first segment. So we will be back soon and we will see what Ruth has in store for us with her word. Thanks, guys. Gene Woods Racing Experience, named for the racing veteran and three-time champion, packs big racing action into extremely fast, high-performance carts that let you battle the other competitors side-by-side, side, just inches off the ground. Though the Las Vegas Strip provides a glittering backdrop, to the drivers at Gene Woods Racing Experience, the blinking lights are all a blur. Behind the wheel of the high-performance carts, you'll zip around the half-mile track at speeds faster than other standard racing carts' top speeds. Drivers learn to commandeer the speedy carts through an instructional video before they are let loose onto the curving track for 10 heart-pounding laps. We are located at 121 East Sunset Boulevard in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know what? It's time to go racing. Let's get her done!
Hi, I'm Daylin Woods. Welcome to Woods Family Sandwiches. I've always had a passion for food. When I lived in England, I owned my own restaurant. Then when we moved back to the United States, an opportunity came to open a sandwich shop and I just wanted to get back into it. We have here at Woods Family Sandwiches wraps as well as salads and soups. We offer only the finest ingredients to our customers. We have boar's head meats and cheeses. We have fresh bread, fresh produce, great soups daily that we prepare for our customers. Kosher whole pickles, deep river kettle one chips. We have a variety of wraps, or you can make any sub a wrap, any sub a salad. Come on in for our daily specials. We are located at 931 American Pacific, number 106, Henderson, or call us for your deliveries or pickups at 702-826-2230. Here at Woods Family Sandwiches, we're family owned and operated. We are looking forward to seeing you. Hello and welcome back to Sticks and Stones. <laughs> Sticks and Stones. <laughs> I need to take my own advice and relax. <laughs> Earlier in the first segment, I shared my word, and it was "relax" by the famous quarterback, the best quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Go Pat, go! Um, and I love the comments coming in on on uh, the video. You guys are all capitalizing it and spacing it out like it should be. So that's awesome. One thing I wanted to mention quickly was, so I use this word quite a bit, right, when I, during the wedding process and when I was getting married. But this was my, this is my second go around. And the first time I had a huge wedding, and I gotta tell you, I forgot to enjoy it. So this word helped me so much this time to stop, pause, and enjoy it because it goes by so, so quick. So I encourage you guys, you know, whether it's a wedding, a birthday party, you know, just a special even dinner with your friends or family. There's always a lot going on. So just take some time, relax, breathe, and remember to enjoy the moment that you're in because it's going to be gone before you know it. All right. So our guest today, Ruth Furman, owner of Image Words, how perfect. She is going to share with us her word and the story or instances that circle around it and a lesson that she's learned through all of this. So Ruth, go ahead. What is your word? My word is joy. Oh, I love that word. Oh, I love that word. And um, the, the story is that um, I um, had sort of this personal um, multi-layered catastrophe in like 2012. Okay. Um, I went through early menopause. I'm going to be really authentic. went through early menopause. At the same time, uh, I had um, some physical issues. I had this mm. um, thing called foot drop. And hmm. at the time, I was, I was running marathons and bam, foot drop. And so... I've um, never heard of that. My um, my hormones were were out of whack, and um, I lost um, a, consequently at the same time a few of my largest um, clients and my favorite clients from my public relations firm took work in house, and I lost um, my favorite favorite freelancer who was um, you know who was still a good friend, but right. she um, you know changed uh, changed her own uh, her own client base. And um, so that's a lot at once. It was a lot at once, <laughs> and, and I did not handle it well. Right. I did not handle it well. And um, so, um, fast forward um, a few years, and I've really, um, uh, I'm, re I'm really proud of the strides that I've made. And I uh, came up with an annual hashtag. So, oh. first, it was Lanyap, which means a little something extra in Creole. 
Oh, that's cool. That was Lan was Lan, yeah. Then it was chasing joy because I decided huh. I wanted more joy in my life. Right. And um, I wanted to be very thoughtful and um, strategic about creating more joy in my life. But chasing wasn't good for me because I have a very anxious personality. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I was a little manic in my chasing. approach to chasing. <laughs> There's the earring There's again. There's the earring again. There's the earring again. <laughs> just um, relax. It's just okay. <laughs> relax. The earring is just not meant to be worn today. Right. Um, but so yeah, chasing joy uh, became the next year choosing joy. Love it. Which is much more deliberate, mm -hmm. a much more strategic approach, and has really, really been an amazing gift in my life. Joy joy choosing joy so what does that mean right what does it mean what what it means to me is every day every moment of every day being very deliberate in making the choice that is joyful for you personally and as an entrepreneur it's very challenging yes. because sometimes the joyful choice might not seem strategic or might not make sense very true financially or it might not make sense for um, your health um, so for me um, I you know really focus on making the joyful choice and are you ready for my almond butter story? yeah you have almond butter here I how have, does that relate to joy I have <laughs> almond butter so <laughs> almond butter um, and I'm, I'm hiding the brand because it's really not the brand's fault. But um, yesterday, I made a joyful choice. And yesterday was National Dog Day. Yes. Aww. And I love dogs. I do not have a dog, but I love dogs. So I live in Summerlin. I drove to Henderson to see some friends and two of my favorite dogs, Sammy and Bella. Aww. So um, my friends had purchased some of this almond butter, which was on sale for me, uh, and I brought it home. Anyway, I, I put the almond butter, there were three jars of it, just on the seat of my car. Well, it, it, the almond butter, um, somehow it must not have been closed. That's why I'm hiding the brand. It must not have been closed. <laughs> and <coughs> it like, it's some of, the, some of it spilled on, the, uh, on some fabric in my car. I was freaking out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cancel my plans for tonight. I think I need to slow down. What is this? Oh, know? the snowball effect was just starting to happen. <laughs> I was like, for a moment there, a complete, more than a moment, I was like a completely catastrophizing. Oh my gosh, this is ruined. What are people gonna think when they get in my car and see the stain? And then I'm like, no, choose joy. You have some plans, tomorrow, plans tonight that you're really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. I love live music. A friend of mine had invited me to see the Bronx Wanderers. Oh. Amazing. Nice. Totally recommend it. And um, I had plans for the rest of the day. Um, I had a great morning. Right. I had a great morning. So I'm not going to let this one almond butter mishap <laughs> like ruin the rest of my weekend right so it's it's just really choosing choosing joy so you know and I, I chuckle at that because I think there's a lot of things in our lives that they're they they're really insignificant <laughs> I mean like little tiny things but depending on the day we're having or what we have lined up or how we're feeling this one little thing like your almond butter spilling right in your car can send us into a tizzy and that's what I did and like ruin our whole day Michelle I was like I'm laughing at it now I messaged three people I know one of their one of my friends husbands used to own a car wash one of my other friends husbands is an expert in stain removal I like made this like a full-on project <laughs> to figure out how I'm gonna and I'm like Relax. R relax. Wait until tomorrow. That stain is not going away today. Right. Because I, of course, I did the blotting. I googled it. You know. Right. I spent. I wasted a good two hours of my day on this almond butter catastrophe. Freaking out. I did. So, what and how? So, you obviously were in this cata like this frazzled state of mind. It was a catastrophe. Catastrophe. No, thank I'm you. a catastrophizer. <laughs> one, if I let myself be. I'm a catastrophizer. So you're in this yeah. moment. <laughs> what made you realize and stop? And what did you do to get yourself out of this? I um, I actually, um, as I was like Googling for the third time the stain remover on fabric thing, 
I was like, and then I thought about texting my friend to cancel for about half a second. I was like, and then I also have, I had just gotten back from vacation. I had a million work things to do. I just had a lot on my mind. I was like, what is this, you know, drama coming from? Like, just kind of take a break. Mm -hmm. I turned my computer off and I turned my phone off. And I just kind of thought, what is the joyful choice okay. for me personally? Right. Not about anybody else, but what is the joyful choice for me personally? And for me, the joyful choice was to just stop and to go about the rest of my day. Okay. Sometimes I tend to, when something happens, I tend to want to kind of like, I'm very black and white. Right. Um, and I want to cancel everything, but no. Canceling things are rarely the joyful choice. Right. And it might feel better in the moment, but you know, the long term, you're going to be upset with yourself probably that you did that maybe. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I had a, um, and, and it happens in my business a lot of times too, right. is I always try to make the joyful choice um, when I am bringing on a new client, when I'm working with my current clients. I try not to be reactive like we were talking about during mm -hmm. the break mm -hmm. and sending that sending that text immediately right sometimes even emailing on my phone I try to wait and send a more full joyful email yeah. um, from my computer um, so it's just really really being I think for me joy also has to do with kindness yes yes I would agree with kindness that. to ourselves and kindness to other people right um, I can I can have some really negative self-talk if I let myself so um, joy to me is also about being kind and about being grateful and appreciative okay so it runs it runs deep oh yeah inside because I always it's funny we were talking before the show and I joy was going to be one of my words at some point and I think there's a difference between joy and happiness yes. and I and you just hit it on the head you know joy is it's about kindness and gratitude it's yeah Joy to me is deeper set inside ourselves, and it comes from, you know, your gut, your in, like your soul. I don't know if that sounds cheesy, but no. happiness is almost kind of superficial sometimes and overused. Joy is a choice. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Happiness, I think, is more, in my opinion, is more of an outcome of joy. Ah, that's a great way to put that. Okay. It For me personally. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes absolute sense. Like this morning, I was like, I was going to have my makeup and hair done professionally for this show. I think right. I told you. And I'm like, no, I want to do my 5 a.m. workout and have coffee with my friend after. Yeah. That's the joyful choice. Yeah, that would absolutely bring you more joy. And my whole morning was better because of it. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. All right. So our takeaways from this show are relax, wear your cheese head. No. Relax, take a breath, enjoy the moment. And your takeaway is? My takeaway with joy um, is um, comparison is the thief of joy. Ah, that's so good. So do not compare yourself or your choices to others in any way. And find out what really brings you joy. Yes. In Don't that be afraid moment. to choose it. Choose, don't chase. I love it. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here, and we'll see you next time. Have a great week.